Clinton regrets calling Trump supporters deplorable U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has apologized for calling half of Donald Trump's supporters deplorable people. But the Democrat launched a furious attack on her Republican opponent and promised to keep fighting bigotry and racist rhetoric. Mr. Trump had responded by saying the comment was insulting to millions of amazing, hard-working people. Opinion polls suggest Mr. Trump is gaining on Mrs. Clinton. The rivals are neck and neck in the key battleground states of Ohio and Florida. Up in the air again, analysis by Anthony Zerker. BBC News Hillary Clinton's basket of deplorables comments have drawn immediate comparisons to Mitt Romney's 2012 line about 47% of Americans on government dole supporting Barack Obama and Mr. Obama's 2008 characterization of downtrodden Pennsylvanians as clinging to guns and religion. Unlike those noted gaffes, however, it is not clear how Mrs. Clinton's public remarks will directly damage her. She is certainly unlikely to peel off any of Donald Trump's supporters by calling some of them racists or homophobes but they have stuck by their man through thick and thin. Mrs. Clinton's own backers likely agree with her description. The only question is how the sizable chunk of undecided voters view the controversy. They had started to move toward Mrs. Clinton after the Democratic convention but are recently back up in the air or aligning with a third party. They may take exception to Mrs. Clinton's calling fully half of all Trump supporters, millions of Americans, deplorable, which is why she has walked back this portion of her comments. If the debate turns over how many of Mr. Trump's backers are overtly racist or bigoted, however, that is political terrain the Democrat will gladly fight on. What she said on Friday speaking at a fundraiser in New York, Mrs. Clinton said, to just be grossly generalistic, you can put half of Trump's supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Unfortunately, there are people like that, and he has lifted them up. They were, she told the LGBT event, racist, sexist, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. The rest of the Republican nominee's supporters, according to Mrs. Clinton, were just desperate for change. How the Republicans reacted Mr. Trump's running mate Mike Pence said, They are not a basket of anything. They are Americans and they deserve your respect, Reigns Priebus, head of the Republican National Committee, said Mrs. Clinton had shown her outright contempt for ordinary people. Millions of Americans, he said supported the Republican nominee because they were sick of corrupt career politicians like Hillary Clinton. Other Republicans mocked Mrs. Clinton. Sharing photos of the crowd in the Florida venue where Mr. Trump spoke on Friday, the hashtag hashtag basket if deplorables has been trending on social media as indignant Republicans attack Mrs. Clinton. A candidate who writes off half the country as the hashtag basket if deplorables should be disqualified was one comment on Twitter. What Clinton says now apologizing, Mrs. Clinton said. Last night I was grossly generalistic and that's never a good idea. I regret saying half that was wrong. As I said, she added. Many of Trump's supporters are hard-working Americans who just don't feel like the economy or our political system are working for them. But for most of the statement, she attacked her rival, accusing him of building his campaign largely on prejudice and paranoia and giving a national platform to hateful views and voices, including by retweeting fringe bigots with a few dozen followers and spreading their message to 11 million people. David Duke and other white supremacists see him as a champion of their values, she said in the statement. It was, she said, really deplorable that her Republican opponent was linked to people from the right-wing alt-right movement. Who are the alt-right? Where this is going passions are high just over two weeks before the first election debate between Mrs. Clinton and Mr. Trump on the 26th of September. After one of the most bitterly fought election campaigns in living memory, Americans go to the polls on the 8th of November to elect a successor to President Barack Obama. The Democrat is standing down after two terms in office.